What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit that little subscribe button right there and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on part two of our salvage work for today. And you saw the first part just the other day. We actually had two boats to lift up today. And we're headed out to do the next one. Now, for this one, we got to take a little bit of a boat ride. I'll try to show you an overhead shot of where we're actually at. It is the same dock system, but this is a very, very long dock system. And to get all the equipment out there, all of our dive gear, all the rigging, we're going to have to take a boat to get to where we're going now we're going to go out and do a survey first and just to see what's there um and then Cito is going to pull over and bring us all the rigging and all that they're still working on the boat that you saw in the last video trying to get the last bit of water the trouble they're having on it of course is all the furniture is basically waterlogged so all the furniture that was inside the boat full of water and even though they've got the water pumped out of the cabin area all that weight that's in that furniture is causing that boat to still lift so they're working on getting that furniture out and while they're doing that we're going to go ahead and go over to the other side and do an inspection <clears throat> or a survey on that boat just to see what we're going to need to rig with it because i really hope you do enjoy these videos we enjoy showing you uh the procedures and the the way that we hook up things underwater and we hope that they're educational for you as well the last few videos that i've showed you a couple of you guys have been asking about the lift theory that we do and why lift theory is not an exact science and a lot of it has to do with the variables of what's in the boat such as the furniture in the case of the last video we just showed you with all that furniture that's still wet yes that that calculates into the total weight of the vessel but a lot of times we get just an estimate of how much lift we need to lift it up and still sometimes once that vessel comes out of the water it ends up being heavier than what uh than what we calculate because of those other variables because of the furniture and the stuff that's inside it that's got that's holding extra water that it no wouldn't normally do so that's why we want to show you these videos guys to show you it's not necessarily an exact science a lot of times it is guesstimations we run basic math problems or basic um equations to calculate lift and then we always take extra lift as well it's always better to have too much lift and not enough but we're going to jump on the boat real quick run over the other side and i'll walk you through what we're going to do underwater once we get there all right guys let's go ahead and jump into this this is actually the second uh salvage job for today you guys got to see the first one in the last video and we're just gonna get reset up here we're taking extra cylinders with us just in case we need them on this dive uh, it's not very deep it's about i think 16 foot or so where the uh, bow is and it's only about eight foot where the stern is uh, but it's a deck boat and before we get there we've got a little bit of boat ride to go here uh, we are also going to be towing the first vessel that you guys saw in the last video we're going to be towing it around um Cito, once they drop us off to do our inspection of the vessel they're going to go ahead and tow uh the first vessel over to a boat ramp and it's about a quarter to a half mile away so that gives us plenty of times to do the inspection uh, and i do want to apologize to you guys up front we've only got about a, a minute of underwater footage on this video you're not going to be able to see uh, really anything that we do other than just rigging one bag and there's a couple of reasons for that one this was our second job of the day and our cameras just simply died uh, and number two of course the footage just didn't what footage we did get didn't really come out that well due to the visibility but I do want to use this uh, video, I want to salvage what I can of this salvage video, all pun intended there, um, to talk a little bit about uh, unprepared or um, unknown situations. You know, what happens when your dive plan doesn't work out the way it should. 
There is a very popular diving philosophy out there that a lot of people buy into. Uh, I'm sure you guys can kind of get the hint of what I'm talking about here. And I want to talk about diving philosophies and why one uh, way of doing things doesn't always work out and why I've never really you know, bought into that philosophy. When you do work like we do, this salvage work, things are not always black and white. There are so many gray areas. Things do not always go as planned, and you need to be able to change that plan immediately, uh, whether it's for safety concerns or to just to be more successful, and that's what we had to do on this one. Uh, what we are basically lifting up here is a deck boat, and if you've ever salvaged a deck boat, then you'll know how difficult they are. Getting them to the surface is relatively easy. Um, they are pretty stable. A deck boat's nothing more than a glorified pontoon or what I call a speed pontoon. Um, and they typically will have attachment points, which make it easy. The downside to them, the access doors on both the port and starboard side are so low in the water. They sit so low. Um, it's very difficult to get it high enough to start actually pumping water out. And a lot of times, deck boats, because of their construction, they break off parts very easy. So once we, were to, once we got this vessel up... Uh, we started pumping water out and we realized water was actually coming in faster than what we could pump it out. And there was a couple of reasons. One, we didn't have it up high enough. Uh, so water was coming around the uh, port and starboard side doors there. And even over the stern area where the swim deck is or where the outboards attach, it was going right into a little access port. And we didn't know that that access port was missing the lid of it. So we had quite a bit of difficulty there. And like I said, you're not going to get to see much here because the, the camera did die. But I still want to make this an educational video. Anytime things go wrong, you need to have a backup plan, which obviously we did. We had extra rigging that we could lift this up. But don't buy into just one way of doing things. You need to be able to make any situation work for you, which is exactly what we had to do in this scenario. Now, I will go ahead and tell you, we had a very successful dive here. We were able to get this vessel up. It did take about an extra hour and a half to two hours to uh, raise this vessel up, but we worked through it. And anytime you have a problem, you need to work through it as well. Take your time, work through it, get your game plan and move with it and if something changes don't let it get you down just do what you learned in your open water program or in your rescue program stop breathe think breathe act and of course breathe and you too will be able to get through just about any situation but as you can see we got the vessel up there it did take us a little bit while uh, to do it but uh yeah very successful job just took a little bit longer to do and i do apologize about the footage not really being good underwater like i said our cameras died guys we spent all day on the water getting these two boats up all right guys so as you can see boats lifted had a little bit more difficulty on this deck boats tend to be a little bit hard to get up just because of all the access points where water can come in at but we continued to rig it up. We got it lifted. As you can see, it's floating kind of on its own now. They're going to drop us off. They've got another job to go do, Seto uh, does, and then they're going to go back and pull it around and get it on a trailer. But I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you found it educational. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer the questions the best I can, as quickly as I can as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.